The Trenton Thunder looked to boom loudly in 2012 with a familiar face. The battle for Princeton bragging rights takes to the ice with a female persuasion, and Pennington Boys basketball enjoys the beauty of its youth. I'm Mark Fontes with Sports. After three trips to the Eastern League Championship Series, two of which were back-to-back -back wins, Thunder manager Tony Franklin set out searching for a new job. His resume figures to get him hired elsewhere someday, but for the 2012 season, he will be back as Trenton skipper. The team announces this week that Franklin will return to coach the team for a sixth straight campaign. Despite having off-season knee surgery and struggling through his first ever losing year with the Thunder, Franklin was apparently glad to come back. He'll make his return along with pitching coach Tommy Phelps. The rest of the 12 Thunder staff-wise will be very different. Cases in point, the team's new hitting coach is a man named Tom Slater and the new bench coach, Luis Dorante, who arrives from the Pittsburgh Pirates system. The Thunder opened the 2012 season at home against New Hampshire in early April. Elsewhere in the world of the Thunder, their longtime PR guy, Bill Cook, happens to be the husband of Princeton Day girls ice hockey coach Lorna Cook. Those PDS Panthers were in action last night against crosstown rival Princeton High. Only a handful of high schools in the Northeast even have girls ice hockey programs. Two of them, though, are here in Mercer. The Princeton Day Panthers at 2-2 two two, trying to tame the rival PHS Little Tigers, and they wasted no time. 14 seconds into the game, Mimi Matthews gets PDS on the board. The Princeton High fans a bit speechless. Here it is again, Megan Offner and Mary Travers both assisting. Matthews making it look easy, putting it right in there, and her team goes up 1-0 as the PDS fans patiently waited for more. Panthers on the attack again, shot stopped by Toby Afrin, but Ziza Cole slaps it in there. Tough to follow the puck on this one, but it made it 2-0. Robin Linsmeyer on the assist for the ladies in blue. Senior success Megan Offner reached a milestone on this night. Her 100th point, this beautiful goal, made it 3-0. She finished with 101 total career points. For those that don't know, that means a combination of goals and assists. Now for Afrin, Princeton High's goalie, it wasn't a totally bad night. She saw a plethora of shots come her way and saved 18 of them, like this one, which did draw applause from the Tiger faithful. Lexi Fairman of the Panthers going back on offense, getting a second chance to shoot that and making it work on try number two. This game turned into a stopping early. Five nothing by the end of period one. In the second, Travers with the puck for PDS closing in on Afrin. Nice glove save by the senior. She had 16 against Pingree earlier this month, but coach Lorna Cook and company not worried about a thing. A great night for Offner got even better as she scored the team's sixth goal. It completely put PDS in the driver's seat. Later in the second period, Mary Campbell McDonald, Lucy Herring, and the rest of the Little Tigers moving down the ice with the puck. The bench hoping for something to go their way. They'd set up for Abby Hunter to take a shot, and she finally notched something for PHS to be happy about. The Little Tigers avoid the shutout. Here it is one more time. In the third, Hunter would crease the net again for PHS, but that would be all for them as Princeton Day delivers a walloping 11-2 the final. And to basketball, Pennington may have come up just short when they played their counterparts from PDS recently, but things were different yesterday against Germantown friends. They treat their games like big events at Pennington. Yesterday, boys basketball playing host to Germantown friends. This young Red Raider team with men like Miles Stevens getting it done from inside the paint. Stevens sinks that. He finished the day with 16 as the fans do some chants. Germantown's Clay Fairbanks connecting with Hank Goldenberg. Watch Goldenberg fight off Red Raider efforts to steal the ball. Goldenberg shooting and scoring. He finished with nine. DeAndre Santos to Paul McWhorter. McWhorter back to Santos. Santos to Kazon Randolph who banks a nice bucket. James Anderson of Pennington later following a big takeaway dishes it to Santos, who again goes to McWhorter, and Anderson ends up back with it only to get rejected. Nice play by Germantown. Goldenberg comes away with it, dishes to Fairbanks. Fairbanks to Jesse Smith from downtown. Yes! Now, if only we didn't trail by such a landslide, Germantown likely thought to themselves. And how about Pennington Santos? He netted seven of his own points, two of them coming here. Germantown friends would finish this strong. Ray Leon, number 23 for them, led all their scores with 18 points. That was, in fact, also the point total turned in by Pennington's Randolph. The Red Raiders, however, cruise and get back into winning territory with the win. Just a reminder, these highlights brought to you by the same folks who make all of our high school sports coverage possible, the Hamilton Township Education Association, members working to ensure your child's future success. And finally, Team of the Day is brought to you by Prior NAMI Business Systems. With the finest names in office products like Brother, Canon, Konica, Minolta, and Muratech, 
you can count on Pryor and Emmy. The Heightstown Rams boys swimming team defeated the Hamilton West Hornets yesterday, 114 to 56. Each squad had standout freshmen proving to their upperclassmen and coaches that they will be a force to reckon with when the time comes. Aldera Rosa won three times for the Rams, while ninth grader Griffin Hutton of Hamilton broke his own record in the 400 free. Despite Hutton's efforts, the Rams took the overall meet, making them our team of the day. That's sports for Friday and for the week. Up next, Mercer County Close-Up.